Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I am here to share with you some dyes that I have received from Coco Rosa. And I'm also going to have in the description box a link to all of the dyes I am sharing with you today in order. Plus a discount code that you see here in the screen. So I would really appreciate it if you use my link along with my discount code. So I am here to share with you... Um, some dyes that I received from Coco Rosa and I'm excited it's my first time working with them so these are the dyes that I picked out I personally love it you guys when people show their dyes but I prefer it when they show samples of what it looks like cut out it doesn't have to be the completed project so that's what I'm gonna do here I'm gonna show you what they look like cut out it's not gonna be a completed project just so you know so the first die is this right here, and it's a pretty good size. It's like the half, it's like the half of a snowflake. And this is pretty neat. You can add, add it like to the side of a card, to the edge of a card, or you can cut it out twice and make one big snowflake. And here what that look what it looks like cut out. I did cut it twice. This is using foam, and I just went through my machine once, you guys. And if you cut it out twice and you adhere that together, you can see that it's a really good size, you guys. I love it. And I wanted to bring out a card just so you can see what it looks like if you add it to the edge of a card. But I have some cards in front of me, but they're completed cards that are for another video. Uh, let's see. I'll just show you this box really quickly. I've shown this on YouTube, I think, like last year. Um, these are candy. Oh my gosh, this is like my, this is still my favorite candy, by the way. These are empty boxes. Um, uh, but let's say this was a card. I would have made this smaller. And you can just add this to the edge. And I think that looks really pretty. Oh my gosh, that's so pretty. And then I was thinking, if I didn't have this snowflake right here, I could have added this to the edge. Or added this behind this red um, die cut and add it like that. Just imagine it. Just picture it, what that would have looked like. See, even that looks cute. And I could have added this other half on this side. Look at that. Love it. Okay, so that's that die. The next die I'm gonna share with you is this one. I really liked it because it's simple. And I really thought that it did cut the middle. That's why these these came stuck together and I separated them because I thought that it wouldn't cut the middle out, but it did. So then I just ended up leaving these and you know stuck together. And here's what that looks like. Here's the really small one. There's the medium size. I just used gold cardstock from Michaels. And there's the larger one and they're a good size as well I am gonna tell you guys I am gonna give you measurements because I am really bad whenever I see something online I never I always think it looks like a good size and once I show you this coffee cup <laughs> I thought it was a lot bigger I honestly thought it was like four inches it ended up being a lot smaller but the embellishments came out so cute but anyways so this snowflake right here, so this is an in inches, so it's about four inches wide, and then if you're just going to cut half of it off, it's about one and a half, oops, no, about two inches, so this is just a half, and then the bigger size of this one is about, about four and a half. This, the smaller, the medium size is about three and a quarter, and the small one is about two inches, and it's cute. I like it. You can just tuck it behind a die cut, um, like it could have been behind this circle. Oh, that would have looked cute, like if it would have been behind the circle. You can use it as accent and just add like half of it. I don't know. You know what I mean, right? Okay, so that's that die. 
Now, the next die I want to share with you is, let's go with this one. This one is really pretty. And look at that, you guys. So, it measures about, it's about 5 and 7 eighths by 4 inches. And then it has the, so it has this one. I think it's called, like, window fence. I think, but I'll have a list I'll have a list to all of these dies in the description box in the order that I'm showing them to you guys. And then it comes with the doors, like the gate doors. And let me show you what that looks like. So I did cut it out. And look how pretty this is. I cut it out using Sandy's paper. And then here are the doors. That's what that looked like. So just like that. So I cut them out just so I can have them ready. And now I'm going to show you this one. This one, look at those tiny little hearts. And it has a lot of details. Everything else just cuts it. And it's really pretty. So this measures about just under five and a half by four inches. And then it has this that you can add a pocket to. So here is the pocket and it has a really pretty edge. You can see all that that cuts out. Look at that. That's really cool. It's really pretty paper too. And here is what I came up with. Look at that. Isn't that paper adorable? All this paper that you that you've been seeing here is all digital paper, you guys. And I actually used this paper last year. And so you'll see it in one of my in some of my videos. And here is the pocket. And then I can add this to the front of a card, just like that. Actually, look at this one. So I can just add it to the front of this, assuming this was a card. And I can just tuck in maybe like a gift card or something. Because I think, yeah, a gift card would fit perfect in there. And last but not least, this one, when I saw the picture online of this one, I thought it was going to be like at least four inches, I'm not going to lie. And it comes with all of these small dies. And I was like, oh my goodness. So the, the cup, because that's what's most important, it's, how tall is it? It's about two and a quarter inches tall and wide including the handle is about two and a half. So let me show you some of the cups that I've cut out. And it comes that I'm assuming these are like cinnamon sticks. So look at that and it has marshmallows and it has like the whipped cream on top and then it's dripping. Oh my gosh, I think that is so cute. I also made this one just with the cinnamon sticks. I'm just gonna go with cinnamon sticks look how pretty that is and then i added these stickers this is from hobby lobby like i said these are just embellishments that i made i thought they were so cute and then i have this one that has just the marshmallows on top and then that's it look how cute these cups are you can make these into tags you can these are just embellishments and just add them to your card. I was thinking like, since I have this, uh, maybe adding it to here, put my sentiment here, something like that, I still don't know. So those are the dies. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I appreciate it if you would use my links. They are affiliate links. They will be in the description box and hope you all are having an amazing day and happy holidays. Bye everyone.